This morning, outrage over a tweet by Ohio Republican Congressman Warren Davidson, who ahistorically, and according to Holocaust survivors in seemingly German law, absurdly compared COVID measures in Washington, D.C. to the Nazis. So noting D.C.'s requirement for masks and proof of vaccination to enter certain establishments like bars, Davidson posted a picture of what he seems to think is a Nazi health pass and wrote, this has been done before. The Nazis killed 6 million Jews in the Holocaust versus wearing a mask to get a beer. Now, this should come as absolutely no surprise to anybody who's been paying attention to the Republican Party for the last, uh, what, 40 years or so. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jackson White, co-founder and chief of content at Politiscope. And thank you for once again tuning in to check us out at TYT. Now, this is the exact type of metrics and nonsense that got Marjorie Taylor Greene kicked off of Twitter. But unfortunately, these types of tweets and these type of annex have a negative effect. Nazi comparisons. Yeah, and they always seem to be Trumpist congressmen and state legislator uh, legislators who can't quit the Nazi comparisons. And, and, and that list to me is actually the most dangerous part. This has been widely circulated bile that people keep returning to, whether it's Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, um, you know, Scott Perry, some of Trump's strongest allies in Congress. And it gets worse when you get down to local level, both current candidates running state party chairs and state legislators. So why this impulse to trivialize and insult the Holocaust? The Holocaust is the Holocaust. They are comparing mass murder, one of the worst things humanity's ever done, with an attempt to save lives during a pandemic. And the fact they keep doing it speaks to a deeper sickness in our politics, John. Look, if you want to take on vaccine mandates, take on vaccine mandates. Congressman Davidson has every right to do that. He doesn't have a right to warp history. Well, the answer to why they trivialize the Holocaust to compare the struggles of having to wear a mask in public or having to get vaccinated in order to go into highly crowded inside areas is because it's just another part of the show. And you know that, and we know that. It just adds on to their excuse to pretend like they're being persecuted for simply taking responsibility. Which, of course, is the biggest irony of it all, is that the party that's all about personal responsibility, picking yourself up, doing what you got to do, looking ahead, are the exact people who refuse to do something so simple as to wear a mask. And, of course, this ties into how white supremacy has reigned strong throughout history. And, of course, this in and of itself is not a racial issue. However, it's that white supremacist attitude and the institutional idea that, oh, we don't have to do whatever that other side says because it's liberal and it's, you know, it's just sticking it to the libs. It's just, you know, making the others, making diversity something that nobody wants to see. That's really all that is. And, you know, it may not seem like it's connected directly, but it is because it all goes into the culture of sticking it to the libs. It goes into the culture of doing whatever you want, being arrogant about it and not giving a damn about the consequences. So, you know, the Republicans have backed themselves into a corner that they really can't escape. And it's just going to keep on getting worse and worse and worse because people aren't going to just keep flocking to them outside of the base that they already attract. So we'll keep you updated on more of the nonsense that goes on within the GOP.